Okay, so I thought I'd do a test on USB to SATA cables because a lot of the troubles people are having are incompatibility with those cables. Now, the one I've used almost right from the start is a Dynamo Caddy, uh, and I've used this for pretty much every one of my videos. Uh, and this is a uh, USB A to A cable uh, comes with it, and then you've got this uh, USB to SATA adapter, uh, and it's USB 3, and it's worked really well for me. Um, but I've never really compared it to other USB to SATAs for speed. Uh, I've had this for a little while, which is a J Micron cable, uh, and people have had incompatibilities with that. It works well with lots of things, but certain operating systems don't work with it and need a fix. Uh, and there is a video showing a fix for uh, Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit for this cable. But uh, I recently got recommended this one uh, by Barry Rogers. And uh, this is, uh, so it's a USB to SATA cable again. I'll put a link in the description. But this seems to have very good compatibility. Not necessarily with physical hard drives, uh, which is what I've got uh, Tron running on here. Uh, that's, it doesn't tend to work as well with physical hard drives uh, because it needs more power, uh, which this doesn't need. This is uh, only being powered by the USB 3 socket. Uh, but you can see here it's got a little tiny socket. Uh, and so I'll probably have a look at that uh, at a later time uh, and see if I can get something to go in there to power it. Obviously it's going to be, well it says 12 volt, I would have thought it was 5 volt, but it, yeah it says 12 volt on the um, connection there and it's a positive centre. So I'm sure I can find something that will fit into there. But for the purpose of this, I wanted to see with the same operating system, which one was the fastest. I've got a load of, of uh, discs here which I've tried with this new cable. So compatibility I know is really good, but I haven't really done any speed tests on it yet. Uh, so I have got an unofficial Supreme Team uh, RetroPie, uh, that's a beta build there. I've got uh, Windows 10 on one of these Kingdian drives. I've got Berry Boot on the other. I've got uh, Pin OS on the Sumbo. And the one I'm gonna use for these tests is Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit on this uh, 60 gig uh, UCAN drive and so I've basically reinstalled it completely and I figured I'd do a speed test on each cable and just see how they came out. Okay so let's have a look. Okay so you can see the first test I'm going to do is on the Dynamo adapter uh, with the UCAN drive uh, and let's see how quick it boots. This isn't part of the speed test but it's just to show you it running straight from the SSD, no SD card involved. There you go, so that's booted up. So what I'm gonna do is leave it for a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna do the speed test just to make sure everything's fully started up. Okay, let's switch to screen capture. Okay, so that's all up and running. There's no activity lights flashing. So let's go into start, accessories and diagnostics and run tests. Okay, so it was nice and quick. So we can see here sequential write speed 43661, random write speed 7095, random read speed 9654. This is a very cheap SSD drive. You can definitely get faster SSD drives, but this is more about just testing these uh, USB to SATA adapters. So I need to save that, and I'll save it on the desktop because I'm using this operating system for all of the tests. Let's close that down and restart with the J Micron adapter, which is the one with the two USB cables. I only ever plug one in because it doesn't need the extra power for an SSD. So let's shut that down. Okay, so you'll notice the background has changed and that's because the J Micron cable, also with Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit, needs the SATA fix, uh, which is in this video. So I'll click on my own video and hopefully I've included it in the link. Just pause that. Uh, yeah. So it's the bit that starts off with USB and ends in the U. So I'll copy that and then I need to go to uh, the boot and command line dot text. And I think I popped it right at the start in my other video. Give it a little space and save that. 
Okay, so that should boot now. So now I can take out the SD card that I'm booting from now. This is the SSD that I'm using for all the tests that I've just amended. So let's shut down and reboot without the SD card. Okay, so this is the J-Micron cable. Uh, the fix works from my video, which is good. Uh, so if I, just while I'm waiting for the operating system to start itself up. Okay, so let's just delete all of this and tell it that this was the Dyna mode. Uh, I can delete the pass bit at the end. I just want to get it as minimal as possible. So let's save that. Start, accessories, diagnostics, and hit run tests. Okay, so show log. So what have we got? Definitely, hold on, sequential, whoa. So sequential write speeds way faster. Gosh, right, so let's paste that in. J micron sequential write speed. Uh, the random write speed is slower, and the random read speed is slower, but the sequential write speed is faster. So overall performance as an OS would be better on the Dynamo still. I'm going to, on the third cable, I'm going to first of all do the test with the uh, with the fix enabled uh, that I've just done for the J-Micron uh, and then I'm going to take out that line from command line and then try it without it to see if that makes a difference. But uh, at the moment I think it's still the first, the Dyna mode that is, that is winning uh, even though the J-Micron was much quicker on the sequential write speed. Okay, so now this is the CSL cable that was recommended to me by Barry Rogers. Uh, and so let's call up that text file first. And accessories, diagnostics, and run tests. Ooh, looking like, yeah, looks like this one's the best one so far. So looking at this, uh, it's faster on the sequential write speed, but not very, very much. Uh, it's faster on the random write speed a little bit, uh, and the random read speed is very good, uh, going over 10,000. Uh, so the CSL is better than the Dyna mode, but it's only marginal. Uh, and the J-Micron is, is worse, apart from that sequential write speed. So I'm going to delete that line from command line dot text that was the fix for the J-Micron and see if that means that this goes faster or see if it's exactly the same. Okay, so let's go to boot and command line dot text and delete that fix. And then save that. And then reboot with the CSL cable and see if it makes any difference to those scores. Okay, so I'm going to type in fix on this result and also on this result type in fix because that had the fix. And then the next one, CSL no fix. So this will be the test uh, with nothing changed. So the, definitely the CSL cable uh, is looking good on this and it was only $7.99 on Amazon so it's a good price. Uh, I really still like the Dynamo one, which I've been using all the way through and has better compatibility with physical hard drives. But most people are going to be using SSDs, uh, although the big advantage with the physical hard drive is, as I was showing at the beginning of the video, I've got a 200 gig build of RetroPie uh, unofficial by Damaso, which is excellent. And if you're going to buy that in an SSD, it's going to be a lot more expensive. It only cost me £12 uh, on a physical drive, but I've got another video on that. So let's do this speed test. Accessories. Diagnostics, leave it for a few seconds, and then run test. Okay, show log. Oh, look at the sequential, whoa, what's going on here? Okay, so we definitely have a clear winner. Uh, so on the CSL without the fix that the J-Micron cable needed uh, and I explain more about the fix in my other video so have a look at that if you want to uh, because it's links to a forum thread about it and various different things 
But looking at that, so the sequential write speed is super fast and beats everything. Uh, the random write speed is 16663, which is way quicker than the rest. And the ran random read speed is uh, 10,045. So, wow. So yeah, that's the cable I'll be using from now on, uh, the CSL, apart from when I'm using physical hard drives and then I use my Dynamo cable. But it really means that the J Micron, which cost me about the same sort of price, it's not really worth recommending because for some operating systems you need to do a fix and it's also slower than the CSL cable. Uh, so uh, yeah, interesting test. So thanks very much to Barry Rogers for finding me that cable. Uh, it looks like it's the one I'm going to carry on using. Uh, obviously you're going to get faster results than this if you use faster SSD drives. I use cheap SSD drives in my Pi because I think it's enough of a difference from an SD card for the price to warrant it, whereas I don't really want to be spending you know, sort of 40, 50 pounds on an SSD uh, to get a minimal difference in feeling. So sometimes the numbers obviously show a lot quicker. Uh, in the real world, when you're using it with operating systems, the gains might not seem so great. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.